What's up guys, it's Apologia here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a new story. The name of this story is What If Naruto and Konoha Became Aware? And yeah guys, it is an unscripted story and my own idea. The thing is that in this story they will find out that yeah, we exist and they are just anime and fiction. And yeah, they will also know about you guys, me and even Kishimoto and some of the YouTubers where, who have made parodies of them and funny videos as well and they will all give reactions so it'll be a tight bit of funny crossover and yeah hopefully everything will be okay with this fiction if it goes well who knows maybe i will try something you know later on as a short movie or even a movie it all depends upon you guys comments anyways oh and by the way join my discord server if you haven't and make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel as well and without any further ado let's begin with our today's story roll the intro Story begins in Konoha Gakuren Sato. As we go towards the set peaceful village where we see Hiruzen Sarutobi was on and about his Kage work, which was, well, his mortal enemy, the paperwork. As he was doing his best to finish it up, but it was just increasing by the passing second. As finally he grew tired, as he then got up and said, By Kami, if there is any distraction here that keeps me from doing paperwork, then please do, he said with closed eyes. But when his eyes opened, he wasn't just standing in his office anymore. He was standing in a white plane that looked like nothing existed there. Ah, oh, me and my big mouth, he thought to himself. And that is when he heard some yells as he sidestepped instantly as face faulted there were none other than his own students and his friends as well which were Koharu, Homura, and Donzo. And soon after, following them were the clan heads and their children, which were Konoha 11, and their senses as well. And surprisingly, even the Akatsuki followed suit, alongside with the other Kages and some of their important shinobis. As everyone was confused and were blaming each other now for being there, as he reasoned as enough, none of us, it looks like, is at fault for doing this. We need to find out why or how did we get here and need to find a way out of this? You think that we don't know about this, Hiruzen? Said none other than Oniki. Jeez, Oniki, not with the fights right now. We need to figure out something together. The Hokage is right, R Suchikage. Said A Rai Raikage, otherwise known as A. As even Yagura nodded. Yes, we must find a way out of here. Oh yeah, like you're in a hurry to destroy us, Rebellion. Of course I would be, Mei Terumi. You and your rebellion has been a thorn to my side. Enough! Said Hiruzen, as every eyes then turned towards Naruto, who then said, Um, guys, what is that? He said, as a huge screen which was floating there emerged. What the hell? As Jirai then said, Naruto, get back. As he, with a gulp, moved forward and touched it. It's like a glass of some sort. And instantly, he began to tap it as well. Maybe this is a way out. As it was black, nothing was being shown on it. We see Jiraiya was able to see his reflection until he turned back. So what should we do now, Sensei? And instantly, the screen flickered on, causing Jiraiya to go in shock as he fell down on the ground. As there appeared a masked person. Greetings, people of elemental nations and of different villages. I have brought you here to unveil a dark and twisted secret. And what could be that? Said a voice as a portal opened and in came none other than Madara Uchiha himself with cracks on his face. And it seems that our guest is here as well. Yes, and I asked you a question. What would be that? You will find out in due time, Madara. Hmm. <laughs> Time is something that I do not have. I was in the midst of a war against all of them. As we see, the whole elemental nation was in shock, as well as in turmoil. How is this possible? You were supposed to be dead. Huh. And I'm brought back, can't you see? He said, pointing towards his face as there were cracks. What? Since when does Kona had such a jutsu that can bring back people back to life? Enough! Said the voice from the screen. You can banter all you want later on. Let us begin then. As the screen turned black, as a, the same masked person appeared right next to them, as seats formed beneath them as they sat down. Um, mister, can I ask a question? What are we gonna watch? You'll be in for a surprise. 
as the intro played and in came Naruto himself and one by one each and every important character as Naruto's journey and backstory was revealed as everyone was shocked but more so ever was Naruto who was still in the academy alongside the others what? Uh, I, I am the Jin Jinchuriki of the Nine Tails? Is this the truth, Gigi? My, my boy, it, it, it is. Why are you revealing this? I told you that we are here to watch our twisted secret and revelation, and this is that. What? And why is Naruto life presented as a form of a show? Said Kakashi, asking the important question. Correct, Mask Shinobi. Kakashi Hatake. You found out the secret that I was trying to reveal. Wait. What? As realization dawned on everyone. Wait, you mean to say that my life is basically... Yes, your life is portrayed in the form of a show to my world. And they enjoyed it. What? To them, they are... To them, you are nothing more than a fiction. But there's more to that. What? Said Madra. Nonsense is this. He said, taking in between as his mouth crunched together in a twisted and scowl. You mean to say that all that war, all that bloodshed, everything that we went through, felt, it was all just a fiction? A story? Yes. You even want to know your creator? As the screen paused as an image popped up of Kishimoto. Meet Kishimoto from Japan. He is the one behind the story. As everyone was shocked and amazed. It's both terrifying and yet amazing that a single mind was able to come up with all of us, and yet so different, that it is correct indeed, Heroes and Sahartobi. And you'll be more shocked to see that there are more than 700 episodes and 7 movies of Naruto, alongside with most of the merchandise. Wait, what? Well, we'll get later on to that. How about you enjoy the story? As they watch Naruto progress through his life, all the way until he graduated in a twist of form, as Shikamaru then said, Really? Really? You have to sound so dramatic, Naruto, huh? I just asked you, what the hell were you doing there? Obviously, you not passing and being there was such a drag. Oi, I did pass, you saw that, right? But I, not like I knew or something. Well, Gigi told me to keep it a secret. <sighs> Can we just watch? Said Sasuke. As the story began to unfold, he began to contemplate. Was the death of his family also a sick sort of entertainment for all of them? And that is when they reached the conclusion of Naruto, going through all of their adventures and all that. Sasuke felt a kinship between Sakura, Naruto, and Kakashi, but in the end, he had a goal. And that goal was to defeat his brother, Sasuke. On the other side, Itachi, watching this, was shocked and felt guilty because of him it was his brother who reached to this point and now after that we see Naruto who was badly wounded and left there was picked up by Kakashi as Hiruzen was both shocked alongside with Tsunade and Jiraiya who has taken a liking to the boy how can this be why are you so hell-bent on going after him after what he did to you Naruto I don't know Maybe it's because he's my friend, I guess, said Naruto, as that is the same thing he said in the story as that was being displayed, as Naruto was shown bandaged up in a hospital room as Jiraiya said, asked him the same question. As Jiraiya and Naruto both smiled, and di as did the others. But as the story continued, we see there was a three year of time skip, and after that we see Naruto return back, grown up. Wow, look, I'm grown up! <laughs> yeah, and things. And to think that you grown from that chibi kid, huh? Oh, I'm not that small, said Naruto to the perverted old man who chuckled. Huh. And not only that, Naruto, said Sakura. Maybe you've grown stronger. And that is when everyone else was introduced again. As they all were shocked to see their counterparts, but more than ever was Hiyashi seeing his daughter Hinata. And Neji as well, seeing how he has changed from the previous story to this point as well. And after that we see the Akatsuki threat was unfolded and their true nature was revealed. As everyone was shocked. So you are after the Bijus and you bring back him to the world? Said Oniki. Just to destroy it? No, to bring peace. Yes, Madara said. 
As he began into monologue, telling them his grand plan, as now everyone was terrified and shocked. But it is not a true peace, Madara. It will be a fake one. Fake might it be, but peace it shall be, and it will prevail. Um, just a question, said Naruto. What? You know, for every jutsu, there is chakra that is needed, right? A specific amount. Yes. So you are saying you will cast this jutsu, right? Yes. And how will you be able to maintain it? I mean, you don't have like unlimited amount of chakra. At one point, you also will run out because you're carrying the whole world. What then? As Zetsu will begin to sweat profusely as Madara's eyes widen. Th that is something that I... Hmm. You know what? That is something that I did not think about. And you went along with a plan just to trap us in there. What if we die all there? As Madara became quiet. Don't yell, Oniki. Everything will be revealed in given time. As they watch Naruto's story progress and in between filler episodes as well as movies. As Naruto then himself said with a grumble. Gosh, why in the hell are there so many filler episodes from the main story? <laughs> yeah, your fans were, well, quite annoyed by that as well. But hey, they wanted to make the series quite long, so that is why, I guess. Jeez, I don't even remember going to this many adventures. That is because, idiot, you did not go anywhere. You're in the academy, said Sasuke, a little bit angry at Naruto's antics because he really wanted to continue. And that is when a segment came in which he saw that. He and his brother finally fought after he defected from Orochimaru and even tried to kill him. Hmm. You sneak bastard, huh? Hmm. <laughs> said Sasuke, scoffing at Orochimaru who said these words. Funny coming from you, Orochimaru. Said Jiraiya. Shut up, Jiraiya. Hey, at least my student didn't try to kill me. And soon after that, Jiraiya's death was shown by the hands of his previous student, Nagato, as Jiraiya was shocked. And so was the other shinobis from, well, Konoha alongside with some of them being from different villages. As Kakashi was shocked as well, Jiraiya Sama is dead? Tsunade was just in deep shock as well, as for Hiruzen, he was sad. As was Naruto because of his attachment from the story with Jiraiya. As Orochimaru then said, with quiet seriousness, you were saying, but his expression said otherwise alongside his tone. And now we see, Akatsuki's leader stood up. It's been a long time, Sensei. As following her was a girl with purple hair as well. N Nagato. Conan. Why? Because of the pain that this world has created for the likes of us, Sensei. We have joined and formed Akatsuki for a better world. But that seems to be a problem too, doesn't it? Said Madara. Yes, it does. Because what young Naruto has said, it has given some us insight of a huge loophole that can cause great catastrophe instead of saving some lives. As everyone sat down, as Zetsu was now sweating profusely, but he couldn't leave. He tried to, but Nar but the masked person stopped him. Ah, 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 you're not going anywhere. Okay, fine. As the story progressed, and finally. We see the showdown between the Uchiha brothers, and finally, one by one each and every Katsuki dying alongside with Itachi. But Sasuke was then livid when the truth was revealed as he returned to Konoha to kill Danzo. As he was in the strip, Danzo, what the hell do you think you have done? As Sasuke then stood up and said, you, it's all because of you. It was needed to be done. Konoha. Otherwise would have fallen and that is when the leader Akatsuki they saw pain attacked But Naruto arrived there with a new performed power and a perfect sage mode But how said Jiraiya as he watched the whole process of Naruto training under Pa and Ma Just the way like he did but failed You know what kid you made me damn proud and even surpassed me Naruto This really is the tale of Naruto Uzumaki as after that we see, Naruto was happy, but his friends were shocked as they saw Naruto literally defeating the strongest, well, foe who was even able to kill Jiraiya, albeit him also using the sage mode in the same way until the QB's power was released, until something happened and that is when his parents met with him. 
as that is when a portal opened as both Kushina and Minato arrived. As after the heartfelt Naruto in the story's reaction uh, reunion, we see Naruto who stood there watching his hero and this redhead woman was gaping like a fish while the others they were hiding. It's been a long time, Naruto. Dad? <laughs> yes, your father. As Naruto dashed towards them and gave them a hug, while his friends, who called him an orphan, mainly Sakura, in the earliest story before, looked quite meek. Naruto really was the son of the greatest Hokage ever and the strongest Kondomichi, as Tenten said, profounded by the red death of Konoha. As the family sat down, we see the story continues. Naruto was able to revert back to his original self thanks to his, well, father and mother and was able to take down Nagato, but not with his power but with his words, changing him once and for all and becoming the hero and legend of Konoha. And after that, we see Naruto was sent to blood prison by Tsunade to keep him safe from the Akatsuki as well. As the Akatsuki was moving now way faster under Obito's command, who was now regarded as Toby still. So you found out about my true purpose, huh? As everyone was now shocked. Wait, what? So you're... No, I'm not Madara. I am a shadow of Madara. Said Toby himself. It can't be. Said Deidara, who always saw him as a kid. As everyone else was also shocked by this. But now we see the story progress even further. As the fourth great shinobi war was declared. While this was going on, Naruto, well, returned back to the village after destroying the box of well you know from which the monster basically came i kind of forgot his name to be honest as naruto's parents were enraged why in the hell would you do that sonade that was quite a dumb move by you sonade something that i would not even expect from you said her sensei but it was to keep him safe i was trying to well you did put him in such a pinch and to be honest naruto could have gone well you know Rogue. For all he cared, he had every reason to betray Konoha like it betrayed him. Oh, we'll talk about that, said the masked person later on. As they watched the whole story unfold, as Naruto, in the end, alongside with Sasuke, revealed that they had the power of the sage children and were able to seal away the greatest foe, the one who even betrayed Madara, Zetsu's mother, Kagiyo Tsuzuki, and also defeating him and freeing everyone. And then there was a clash between the two of the greatest and strongest shinobis at the time, Sasuke Uchiha and Naruto, both losing an arm and in turn earning peace for the world. Naruto became the worldwide hero, renowned, while Sasuke being a criminal was pardoned by his request. As Sasuke then asked him, Really? You, you would go that far for me, Naruto? You know what, Teme? Of course I would. After all, you are my friend. As everyone was happy, that the story concluded there but it didn't because after that we see naruto the last movie played out and after that we see even the final episode of naruto was played in which naruto's family was revealed as naruto had a tear in his eye as hinata was a blushing mess but also was smiling and as for hiyashi the ever so stoic leader he was shocked to see his future self turn into a mush when he saw his grandchildren but then again there was a smile on his face maybe i would turn into that <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? As after the end of the story, we see the masked person stood up and said, Now, what do you think about this story? That was something. Now, what would happen if I tell you that this is your story, Naruto? The real story that will follow up. That gives us a lot of insight. And also a lot to change. Everyone said turning towards Zetsu, who was now scared. <laughs> that it may be, but there are a lot of other stuffs. You might be interested in the world where your story originated from, right? Kishimoto's world. And your fans? Would you like to see them? Really? I have fans? Not only you, Naruto. Each and every one of you. All of you have. As that is when different people from all around the globe were seen watching Naruto as they too grew up with him. And not only that, they also saw people cosplaying as them. As Sakura and Ino were squealing with delight and even Tsunade was shocked and everyone was just amazed to see them even the Akatsuki members were so wait I don't get it 
They even like us? Even me? Said Zetsu. Of course, to them you are a fictional character, even if you are evil. And you'll be surprised to see Naruto. You're not the most liked character, albeit being the, you know, main character of the show. Really? Then who is? Madara, actually. As everyone turned towards Madara Uchiha, as Madara was shocked himself, as kids to adults from all around the globe were seen dressed up as him. And also, a YouTube video was then even shown of a person trying to become Madara in one year as step by step he saw the procedure and all the tools that went inside of him depicting his powers step by step as mother then said impressive it's like a genjutsu but i wouldn't have believed that if i hadn't seen the process myself and then his obito video was shown and even a trailer as well that that person was able to make that while standing in his home in front of that green curtain yes Technology is far evolved and they can do this with the help of their technology. Wow, th that is amazing, said all of the Kages who were obviously impressed by this. And even so ever was Orochimaru because of his lust for more knowledge. So how about I turn over a new tale and reveal something entirely else to you? What? Since you have a lot of fans, there will be obviously fan fictions. Fictions, yes, a fan based story that, well, puts a little bit of light in perspective of what ifs or what would have went by if the story was a little bit different. As then Naruto was depicted as, well, a girl, even as the only guy with chakra, or even as a deity of nature or a god. As everyone was shocked to see these different Naruto's until they saw the list. Wait, what? Me and Tami? Wh who makes this stuff? What? What a drag! Me and Choji? As Ino and Sakura looked at each other and were shocked as well, and had a rent tint on their cheeks. Really? Us as well? As the mass person chuckled. Yes, the possibilities are endless. Heck, there is even one of Naruto and Madara, but Madara being a female. That is impossible. He and I don't even exist in the same time. Well, fans have their own ways of well putting Naruto in different situations. What the hell? Why me? Well, you see, even if they do like some of the characters more, they still love you as well, Naruto. And since you are the center part of the whole story, they have many stories based on your perspective. And from these stories come, now we have to go back to YouTube, fan fictions and what ifs. What ifs? said Hiruzen. What do you mean by that? Well, you see these stories as Naruto's pictures were shown with different thumbnails and scenarios, and most of them were all neglected. Wait, hold up. What do you mean neglected, banished, and betrayed? Why, why would they put me in such a situation? Well, because they think that you deserve this. Wait, what? They, deserve, they think that I deserve to be this? No, no, Naruto. They think that you deserve revenge against Konoha. As the whole Konoha Shinobi flinched. Wait, why? But th that is my home, why would I do that? Yeah. Well, in some of the stories, albeit you two being alive, Naruto has a sibling or so on, and he doesn't have the chakra of the Nine Tails, but the soul, but that is impossible. Even it might be, but it is a fan story, so yeah. And Naruto is neglected, and even seen as a monster by some, and because of that, Rage grew inside of his heart, and let's just say, Naruto becomes quite strong and, well, leaves you all behind and when you go to him to ask help, he just flips the middle finger off and enjoys his life. But then, Danzo being Danzo and some of the, well, stubborn people from your village, they try to, you know, force him and Naruto takes revenge and anger out on Al Konha. As some of the stories were even shown from different, well, creators such as... Uh, anime King and Uzukage and even Anizi and Apollo Uchiha and finally AR Legends himself who makes a lot of well neglected what if Naruto series and what ifs as they were quite shocked and disturbed by hearing these stories as Naruto even flinched himself I, I don't know about this so wait y your voice yes I know it resembled one of them as I revealed myself, 
Hey guys, nice to meet you all. My name is Apollo Uchiha. Wait, you're not an Uchiha. Why do you have that name? And what kind of name even is Apollo? Well, it is kind of my, you know, identity on the internet, as I told you. And as for the Uchiha, just because I like you, Madara, you're also my favorite character. As Madara then sat down. Hmm, I see. Just because out of respect. Yup, out of respect. And, yeah, what do you guys think? Well, to be honest, it is quite amazing to see this. So wait, I have a question, Sakiba. Does this also make a fiction? To be honest, yeah, I'm currently also making this as a story for my subscribers to react to. Wait, what? Yes. You want to know who they are? As I revealed some of my subscribers' names and their comments. Whoa. Wow. Those are some wild ideas. And what does even that thing like fruit means? Oh, that's from One Beast. You don't have to worry about that. Actually, I didn't watch that. That, that has more episodes than you. Wait, what? There are more? Yes. Well, the thing is that, like you, there are many other more animes or mangas as we call them. Like Dragon Ball Z or even One Piece or, well, so on. And many of the people that are in fandom of yours are also in the fandom of them. Wow, that really is interesting, said Hiruzen. Well, guys, I think that is enough for the day. Wait, can we see the cosplay things one more time, said Eno with star in her eyes. Why not? You know what? You want to see cosplays, how about I show you a person who does comedies with your cosplays. As King Chris videos were pulled up and they all saw the cooking with Sanji videos as well as him. Well, being gay with Naruto and Sasuke and Hinata turning into the Akatsuki as well after that. And Zeke would be set for Sakura. As all of them then said, who is this person? And why does he act like this, dressing up as us? Well, let's just say his fans' requests are weirder than ours. So yeah, as a content creator, you have to fulfill the fans' request. Heck, even I'm working on some of the other ideas for you, Naruto. As Naruto cringed, really? Yeah, you don't have to worry about that. They're not that bad that, you know, I have done in the past. Now that makes me wonder, said Kakashi. Yeah, you don't want to, Kakashi. Anyways, any other questions? Well, I, I have one. Said Hinata, what? You know, everyone must hate one or two characters from, as you said, our show. I, I would like to know who they might be. Said Hinata. Hmm. Well, I can tell you the top three most hated characters from Naruto in our world. And they are Danzo Shimura, Orochimaru, and Sakura Haruno. Wait, what? Why me? To be honest, Sakura, why not? Would, why not anyone would hate you? I mean, because you said those things about Naruto in the beginning of the show as she flinched. And not only that, throughout the whole series, you were nothing more than arrogant, selfish little... You know, I'm not gonna say that word. But yeah, you were that. As Kakashi then said, Hey, that's not nice. I mean, to be honest, as a fan, I do hate her too. But to not that extent. But there are some more extremer selves there who just hates her existence. As Sakura looked down. As after that, we see Naruto then said, Hey, don't say that about her. Well, Naruto, why shouldn't we? I mean, think about it. You tried to protect her at multiple times, and yet all she does is Sasuke could. And not only that, she even tries to use you throughout the whole series, as me and a lot of fan things in the Shippuden arc, while you balantly ignore Hinata. As Hinata looked down as well. Who really likes you? And after that, we see everyone became silent. Well, I guess that settled it then. Any more questions then? N no. Well, hope you have a nice future ahead of you. And not you, Tatsu, by that I mean. As after that, with a snap of my finger, I sent them back. Phew, well, that settled it. I have done today's work. As with a clap of my fingers, I disappeared alongside that side plane forever. And as for the Naruto's world, many significant changes were made and let's just say Zatsu was beaten to the inch of his life and then killed by Madara himself before returning to his own time. As this is where I'm going to be leaving the story off guys, as I hope you enjoyed this one and if you do then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel as this is Apollo and I'm signing off for the day. Peace!